Okay, swap. So it is Monday, the 14th, or no, Tuesday, the 14th, and we are uh, we are headed to Honda to pick up some parts for the K-Swap. We need to get a new motor mount for the transmission because we had to cut that out with a fucking die grinder to get the motor out. Uh, we need another pilot bushing because we're putting in a different K24 and we're not going to make that mistake twice. Um, all right, tell us about the parts you got. All right, so we just went to the Honda dealership, and um, we had ordered a, uh, a driver's side transmission bracket. Uh, sorry, mount the one that uh, mounts to the frame, and then the bracket that mounts to that that mounts to the transmission. And we arrived to uh, find on the table uh, the driver's side transmission uh, mount as well as a front motor mount. Uh, and when we told them what bracket we actually needed, they said that it would be here on Tuesday from California. Uh, so once again, a, a setback, uh, but not to fear, uh, because we will still be doing the swap today. We're on our way home right now. We're in the rain. It's raining all the time. All the fucking time. It's not fair. And it's not fucking fair. And you know, we're just going. And we're gonna go home. And we're gonna do the swap. No lift. Uh, fucking scissor jack and some garbage jack stands from Harbor Freight and a Harbor Freight engine hoist. Uh, and I just realized I hope Brian brought a chain because we don't have a chain. Did you bring a chain? There's another problem, right? Alright, so, uh, well, uh, you know, the setbacks just keep coming. Uh, and then we'll catch you back soon. on there. I'm gonna pop some pills and then I'm gonna put them in my pocket. This is the new garage, Dave? Yes! This is our new location where we're working. I was gonna use the other garage, but that's where I make my drugs. And we got our, all of our tools up. here. All set up, ready to go for the swappage. K-swap. Because K-swap? Because case swap. Oh man, I breathe so heavy. I'm such a fat guy. Nobody. All right. Cracker, cracker. Cracker, cracker. Explain the situation, Dave. What? What's going on? Uh, so we get everything ready. We're about to do the case swap, and then we realize that the 06 motor does not have an IAC port on the throttle body uh, with throttle body bolts the intake manifold. If you look right here, this is an 04 TSX fly-by-wire throttle body. Here you go, this is where the IAC port uh, would be. So your PRB man, uh, it, with the car steps will work, like that. But here's our 06 throttle body, which news to me doesn't fucking have it. And therefore you can see We'll be putting our IAC right out into the fucking atmosphere, which makes fucking sense. So, fucked again. Hopefully we can fix this sometime in the near uh, 24 hours. Duck. No ice. Anything else? And a large french fry. Yeah? That's it. What do you cut out for? All right. Don't eat my fry. I lied to him. Don't eat my fry. You got a lie too. I lied to him. You're such a dirty liar. Hey guys, uh, right now we are at Ace Hardware. 
Uh, reason being is we realized that uh, uh, over the process of swapping 17 engines into this car, uh, we've lost multiple transmission bolts. Um, so we're here to get some bolts, M12 by 1.25. I'm hoping that they have them. I see a lot of uh, M12 by 1.75 pitch, uh, which is not going to help us whatsoever. And, uh, oh, there's more of it. Oh, those are going to be SAE, right? That's what you're doing. This is our pneumatic uh, jack system. It's a Pontiac Grand Prix 2003 scissor jack with an impact gun on it to make things go quicker. Whoa, shit! That was a fucker. Alright, so we're ready to uh, install a K2482 Correct. and an 03 um, Honda Civic Si EP3 with just uh, a scissor jack, but we cheated a little bit. We used a, an air compressor gun, uh, Ingersoll Rand, to jack the car up with it. Two jack stands, an engine hoist, and a chain, Harbor Freight hoist, be careful. Um, <laughs> and that's it. That so, is it. So let's. let's Bring this in, be careful your headlights, people. Uh, try to wiggle this. Oh, we're going in that way. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So we gotta go over that. Why don't you jack, it, jack it up more? Yeah, jack it up more. The go car? Ahead. No, the fucking engine lift. Oh, the, oh. <laughs> I love that. The fucking engine lift. The casters were installed backwards on this, uh, the, the bolts, so that Which uh, is not us. the casters don't move anymore. The bolts bite the casters when there's weight on it. It's awesome. Yes. Are we good? I don't know. Are we good? I don't know. Are we good? We're good. No, we're pretty good. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on, just Come on, sweetie. Watch out for the little legs on the table. I'm going to swing it this way here. Alright. And this is where the tears happen. And this is the K, not the B, so the exhaust's got to be in the back. Alright. So let me think here. I'm going to do this. Uh, release me from these chains! Little transmission runs. Right. Here we go. Alright? Alright. Oh, hard. hold on. Let's cool. just get this. Let's bring her in. Bring her in for a landing. Okay. So the engine is over the car, as you can see. Yeah. We're about to put the engine in. Be careful. These AC lines, you hit one of those, Simon Grieb knows what happens. You don't want that to happen. Be, be cautious. Tread slowly around the AC lines. Okay. Right, so we're going to have to bring this engine hoist back a little bit because when we lower it, it's going to push it towards the car. Right, because it's a triangle. Because of olive oil. Because of olive oil. And triangles. Whoa! Alright, we got it. We got it, Seagulls. Seagulls! Seagulls! Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. We're gonna go down now. Oh, oh! How are we doing with the train? Close. I got a lot of room over here. Do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, and hold on, we're caught up in this little. We're going to do that as a. Oh! Okay. Catch the front, don't catch the front. Okay. Push the alternator, alternator, push it out. There you go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Something's hung up. 
Uh, it's the re mount in the exhaust manifold, but I think it's past. They're, yeah, they're fine. They're not that nothing. Oh, all right. Now we need to line this up with that mount. Watch out for the camera. Oh, I'm gonna come around this. Dave will be coming around the Civic when he comes. He'll be coming around the Civic when he comes. You want that little light, buddy? See you guys. See you guys. All right. What a sight. Okay. This is really a sight for sore dicks. And you can see that the engine is almost in. Right, we gotta get a light back there to get that rear mount lined up. And then I gotta leave in a minute for, for a little while, so we might just leave this on the chains and leave it just like this. Let me come back, we'll get it set. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that rear mount might be a little toughy to get in. You know, I'm gonna just leave it like this and we do it when we come back. Safe? Because I really, yeah, it's fine. Okay, buddy. Because hatch. Because K24 swap. Because hatch. Because K swap. Because hatch. Because K swap. <laughs> no, it's epic. I just ripped ass. This is my jack. This is what you do a case off with. A fucking who knows what jack from some kind of truck. Some kind of aluminum pipe. A spline drive socket from AutoZone, a Duralast impact socket from AutoZone, and a Craftsman wrench. You will so exert yourself so much just jacking the car up and down once you will feel like that you have completed quite a task. And I will be selling this when we're done if anybody's interested in this special jack that I've been carrying around in my trunk forever. Thank you and good night. It's like, I don't know what it's like, it's like something, it's like, it's like finding your way out of a dark closet with a sextant. Did you tell your dad that joke? No, not yet. Very soon though. I'm gonna wait till his birthday. Alright, now you hook this in here. Now make sure you have your AutoZone spline. Look at that, see? I can't do nothing. Put your spline drive, put your Dura Last, put your Craftsman. All together. Now look at it. Now you wrench this and about every hour you'll get up a half an inch before the jack slips off the car. Oh God. This is the hardest part of the fucking swap is using the goddamn fucking jack. <laughs> the classic Baser ass. What we need is, uh, we, this is what we get for taking too long in the garage with the scissor jack. There was on the door, buddy. Good idea. Oh, someone commented on. What? What, what? I put a picture of the engine and on Facebook and it, I wrote in and someone wrote lies. <laughs> you are sweating like a madman. I'm always sweating like the madman. Ready? Go.